It is widely known that hunger is a larger issue in Africa than the rest of the world. Africa's lack of food sovereignty has made it a net import of food since the 1980s, consuming valuable foreign exchange, even though it is blessed with some of the most fertile land and highest rainfall in the world. In 2011, the World Bank estimated that the region had 200 million hectares of suitable land that was not being used for crops, almost half of the world's total and more than the cultivated area of America. This is the last mile problem in terms of logistics, as the transport infrastructure is poorly developed for the moving of farming resources, such as fertilizer or herbicides, but also in terms of the shipment of crops for processing. A few contributing factors for this problematic situation are a rapidly growing population, in particular its middle class, changing weather patterns, a lack of farming skills and equipment, and a permanent loss of fertile land due to poor soil management. This is complicated by the pervasiveness of subsistence farmers rather than large-scale commercial farming, partly due to poor crop selection, access to pesticides and herbicides, and lack of capital. Where could we start to address this deep-rooted problem? Addressing the root causes is a great place to start, and these include the lack of formal education of farmers, poor access to information on crop choices, the economics of farm management, optimal fertilizer application, appropriate use of pesticides and herbicides, and weather patterns, all of which have a huge impact on yield and therefore profitability. A part of the solution is to improve the decision-making of farmers by making use of better data and knowledge through the application of IoT systems integrated to enhanced decision-making systems to leapfrog Africa and agriculture into the 21st century. The application of improved weather, soil and agricultural science could dramatically improve the yield per hectare and this in turn could make farmers more viable and address food shortages, reduce food prices and conserve scarce foreign exchange by reducing imports. A further benefit of this is that environmental degradation could be minimized. Several startups and more advanced farmers in the region have deployed solutions based on smart farming. This technique is based on sensors embedded into fields to gather data to enable precision farming. Weather and agriculture are tightly linked, so it is natural that remote weather station technology was the first application of IoT in farming. The collected data can help map climate conditions to assist with crop selection and the application of measures to improve the farm's capacity. AGI IQ is a solution that will help farmers apply only the correct amount of fertilizer to the crops. This is a multi-year analysis based on assessing soil quality and crop behavior and is combined with data from satellite imagery to yield a complete map of the optimal fertilizer requirements. Underfertilizing can impact yield and overfertilizing can inc increase input costs and therefore profits, but is also awfully bad for the environment. Another type of IoT application is crop management devices. Like weather stations, they can be placed in the field to collect data particular to crop farming. Factors that can be tracked include temperature, precipitation, leaf water potential and overall crop health. By monitoring crop growth and any anomalies, it is possible to guide farmers on when to apply pesticides and herbicides effectively to prevent disease or infestations that can harm crop yield. An effective IoT solution for agriculture should be able to allow for real-time collection and presentation of data, be low-powered, easy to install and cost-effective, and finally, be globally accessible and not restricted to local networks or operators. Having these systems permanently online allows for real-time updates, but importantly, saves on labor that would otherwise be needed to visit each sensor for data logging tasks and further delaying both analysis and action. These installations can be either locally or regionally implemented. IoT sensors can assist with local irrigation decisions, especially in water-stressed regions, collect data related to temperature, volumetric water content, rainfall, and other parameters in real time. Farmers can utilize this information immediately to identify trends and to predict irrigation needs as delays in decisions and either over or under watering crops can be catastrophic. 
Macadamia trees, for example, are particularly susceptible to stress. Periods of prolonged drought, as was the case in South Africa in 2018, and overcompensating with watering frequently results in stressed macadamia orchards. The consequences of this can be extremely damaging to both crop yield and crop quality, the latter impacting revenues quite severely. Some continent-wide systems collect weather data on the status of rainfall and sunlight and infer the condition of the soil. This information is supplied to farmers as guidance on when to plow, plant, water, fertilize or harvest their crops. The service operates on a subscription model and is growing well as the results in improved yield are immediately apparent. Wireless monitoring capability allows farmers to check crop water levels remotely, saving time and effort. Farmers can access real-time information instantly on mobile devices as well as on PCs. The convergence of IoT, AI, connectivity and mobile devices has created an environment for an acceleration in smart farming that does hold the promise of finally addressing Africa's stereotypical chronic food shortages.